I'm not sure why I picked this, but I did think that there could be people that would be scared of the Hermit card because the thought of being alone is a scary concept. The thought of having to sit with those uncomfortable... That's it. The thought <laughs> of those uncomfortable feelings rising up to the surface is scary. We don't want to deal with ourselves. We don't want to look into stuff. We don't want to think of all those things that make us uncomfortable. We don't like the thought of being alone. And hermit essentially means being on your own. It doesn't mean you have to stop your life. Hermiting does not necessarily mean that you have to go and pack your bags into a cave and get yourself a cave somewhere or a little hotel in the middle of nowhere on your own, although you totally can do that. But that's not what it means. It does not mean that you have to stop your life. It, it doesn't mean that you have to stop caring for your significant others or your family or whatever. It does not mean that you have to completely stop your life and just go and hide in somewhere. What it means is that you do need to stop the distractions that could be stopping you dealing with yourself. You need to stop busying yourself and actually work on situations, lessons that you might be learning. It's about being reflective. It's about being introspective. There's nothing wrong with that. So if you're one of these people that tends to be like that quite naturally anyway, and then you get somebody going, oh, you overthink everything. Don't believe in overthinking. I believe overthinking is simply your brain trying to come to terms with something that your soul's already sent there and you're trying to piece it apart. Maybe somebody said something and it's not sitting well with you. And you know why it's, you know it's not sitting well with you, but you don't know why. So you're mulling it over. Is that overthinking? If something bothers you, it bothers you. It's there for a reason. If something triggers you, it triggers you. It is there for a reason. So this, and you're an overthinker, especially if you're getting it from a narcissistic personality, it's, they don't want you to, they don't want you to see the truth. They that. don't want you to come to the conclusion of what it is, the double meaning behind what they might have said. Go with your gut instinct. If you are prone to overthinking, bring it back to the present. Not everything has to mean something, but most of the time, if something's not sitting right with you, there's a reason for that. Could just be your brain processing it, trying to make sense of something, trying to find answers on something that was triggering to you. That's not overthinking. That's trying to come to terms with something in my book. 